what's going on guys living good zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys pokemon go did post on twitter their august content update do remember i did make a video a few days ago predicting what could be featured in the month of august and from what i've seen we were correct about a lot of stuff guys so yeah this is the first infographic they posted these will be the featured five star raids for august we have moltres up first thunderous and xerneas featured in five star raids in august so this will be the time frame of these five star raid bosses moltres august 3rd to august 12th thunderous incarnate form from the 12th to the 21st and xerneas from the 21st to september 3rd uh from this list thunderous and xerneas i do want to try a few raids for go for some more shinies maybe go for a good iv xerneas too definitely down for that also mega raid bosses featured mega dactyl mega kangaskhan and mega salamence as well so now let's talk about the main events guys we were correct adventure week is gonna start on august 2nd and to my surprise this will be a very long event a 10 day event for adventure week i am so down for that because i love the spawns that they always feature for adventure week and also adventure week does most of the time feature some good xp bonuses too so if you guys need to level up in the game this event might be for you because most of the time they do feature some good stuff for xp so yeah that's august 2nd to the 12th 10 a.m local time to 11 59 p.m local time and in the middle of that event there will be like i said a team rocket takeover event so this means that yes we will be getting new shadow shiny pokemon from the team rocket leaders and i'm assuming new shadow pokemon via grunts to new shadow pokemon debuts and possibly giovanni could have a brand new shadow legendary pokemon which do remember the past two have been groudon and kyogre so this could be it could be the release of shadow rayquaza with giovanni that would be the best thing ever if we could get that that would be super super sick because i bet it would look so good in the game so let's hope that yes shadow rayquaza does drop for that takeover event and let's also hope for the adventure week event it does drop some new fossil pokemon there are four fossil pokemon from galar that are unreleased so maybe they could be featured in that event and to remember a shadow raid weekend is coming up on august 10th and 11th from the season trailer that we had for shared skies they did showcase an apex lugia so that makes me believe that apex lugia might be in shadow raids which would be awesome and with the shiny too would be even better because i feel like a lot of people are missing apex lugia you could only catch apex lugia if you had a ticket for the johto tour a few years ago and like i said too guys there would be a championship event from august 16th to august 20th this should debut a new costume pikachu and i'm assuming it will be shiny too and if you guys catch it in honolulu via field research or raids it does have a chance to have a location card so if you guys are going to that event make sure you do check some pikachu there to get that awesome location card and it could feature the shiny past simian i talked about that too in the video a few days ago and it should feature some pvp pokemon now now also guys this one's a big one an unannounced classic c day for august this was not announced on their save the date blog post august 18th a classic c day will be happening could it be for beldum maybe if they have a classic c day in october that will be the beldum one because beldum did come out with its first c day in october of i believe 2018 so if there is a classic c day for october i feel like it would be for beldum then to keep it the same month because they did that for bagon this year in the month of i think it was april because bagon had its first c day back in 2018 in the month of april so yeah this classic c day for august it could be beldum I don't know if it's going to be a starter Pokemon because we just had a starter Pokemon send the quill for the last classic C day back in June. So yeah, this could possibly be Beldum guys. So let me know in the comments below. If you do want to see a Beldum classic C day, let me know. Then also the main event after that classic will be a brand new event triumph together. So I don't know what's going to be featured in that. We've never had it before. And then after that will of course be the C day for Poplio and shadow Suicune will be in shadow raids and every 
every weekend of August, except the Shadow Raid weekend that will only feature the Apex Lugia. And then we have Raid Hours for the Moltres, Thunderous, and Xerneas, and Spotlight Hours. I talked about this in the video today. Drillber, first Spotlight Hour, and then Lilip, and then Mankey, because Mankey, I'm sure, is featured in that championship event. And then Magnemite is also featured for a Spotlight, so Magnemite could be a featured spawn for the Triumph Together event. Don't know, but that will be the last Spotlight of August. So based off this infographic, guys, what are you most excited for in the month of August? Is it new Shadow Shiny Pokemon? Is it the Shadow Raid Weekend? Is it Adventure Week? Is it the Classic Sea Day? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like in the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.